Hi folks, it's Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you a very quick uh, introduction to stored procedures in SQL Server. So I'll talk about um, a number of things today. So first of all, I'll talk about what are stored procedures and why you, and why I use them. Um, then I'll uh, provide some demonstration files so you can follow along with this tutorial if you want. Um, and in the tutorial itself, we will create, execute and delete stored procedures and we'll also um, create um, uh, do some work with parameterized stored procedures and then we'll wrap up with um, uh, talking about some additional resources you may find um, useful as well. So what are stored procedures? Essentially stored procedures are a little bit of transact SQL code um, that are stored centrally uh, in a database. Um, and, and there are a number of advantages of, uh, of, de of uh, stored procedures. So by storing them centrally um, it makes them a lot easier to administer. So um, by having them in one spot, different people can access that code. Um, but what what it does is it means there's only one copy of the code. It doesn't mean everyone has their different variation of that of that code. So when that code perhaps needs updating, uh, someone can just centrally update it. Then everyone else has access to that um, to the updated code. That um, makes things a lot lot easier from an administration perspective. Um, there's also another advantage that um, stored procedures can um, accept parameters um, and that allows the uh, a lot of flexibility with stored procedures. So for example if a uh, piece of transact SQL um, returns for example sales figures by several um, sales regions you might have a parameter of sales region uh, which will mean if you add in uh, parameters such as northern region just information for that region will, will return so you're using the same code centrally but your um, um, the parameter provides flexibility to return just the information that you you want okay so we'll jump across and download the demonstration files from my website so my website is analyticsinaction.com and if you um, go to stored-procedures um, or navigate to resources um, you'll see uh, this um, uh, you'll see this page here and I've got a link to download code so what we do is just copy all of that code and we can copy it there and we'll drop it into that will spark up um, SQL Server Management Studio and click on new query and we'll just paste paste this in there we go so that's all the code so first of all we'll just um, create a database and a table that we can test our stored procedures um, against so the first thing we'll do is click on the create database code here execute okay that's created our um, database now we want to create a table and insert some data, some sample data into it. Again, highlight it, execute, and what we'll see um, when we click the little refresh button up here, um, oh, we'll shrink it down and then click refresh. We'll see this example database has appeared. Click down through it to tables and we'll see the products table is there. We'll select the top 1,000 rows and we'll see, well, there's actually only four rows and it has um, a number of different uh, computer items and their sales price. Okay, so that's what we'll be uh, running the stored procedures against today. So in terms of creating a, um, a stored procedure, it's, it's a pretty, uh, pretty simple process. You just type create proc and then provide a name for the stored procedure um, and then as and this is really where the key bit is here you have the actual transact SQL code that you want contained within the within the stored procedure and then you just highlight it run it we see that the uh, command is successful um, you can tell whether the um, you can actually go and look at the stored procedure by looking under programmability expand that out we'll see stored procedures expand that out again and we see simple SPs that's been been created so that's all good so once you've created a um, stored procedure such as that which selects all the products from the um, uh, product table you um, will probably want to execute it 
So to do that, you just type ex um, exe sorry exec execute, and then the name of the stored procedure, and then you run it. You can also type um, execute uh, the full name. Does the same thing. Okay, so that's a very very simple um, stored procedure. But generally, what you want to do is actually supply a uh, a parameter to filter the um, data down. So the process is is pretty much um, the same, except we will add a parameter. Um, so what we're going to do is add a parameter for the item column. Um, one little note here too. I've also put a um, equals null at the end, which will mean that the um, parameter, the, sorry, the store procedure will also run without a parameter being supplied. Um, so let's just create this um, store procedure called demo proc. Run it, and then we will execute it. So as mentioned before, this um, the uh, this store procedure will, if, even if I don't supply a parameter, it will still run. But obviously, because I don't supply a parameter, it um, it uh, won't return a result. But for example, I'm trying to think what. Oh, okay, obviously, no, what's I'll type in so. I don't know, there we go. So, if we want to supply a, a parameter, it'll also work. Okay. So, um, another thing you can do is supply a um, a default value. Um, so, this is what I've done in this next example: is put a equals tablet um, in it, and that means that when we uh, run that without a parameter, the default will come back. So let's just create that, execute it, and then see that, so that'll come back as, but again, we can add a, um, we can add a, add a parameter if we want. There we go. So, um, so that's pretty much um, that's pretty much it. Um, so okay, what you quite often want to do also is um, to delete um, delete store procedures. So you can just jump straight in to programmability again um, and delete it out of there. Right click, um, delete, or you could just run the code as well, which is drop. Um, drop proc. There we go, and that's it. So that's pretty much um, stored procedures. Um, hope you found this um, this useful. Um, if you if you did, what I'd suggest is um, come across to the uh, the website, or the other um, option is um, subscribe to my uh, my YouTube channel. So just click on the uh, on the subscribe button, and that way every time you um, you every time I produce another video you'll get a um, you'll get a um, an update